Um, and we'd met this other cool band called Youth Movies and we were out there and then I K-holed and um, yeah, and it was fucking dire. Hey, this is Yanis from Foles and this is my firsts for Enemy. First cassette I bought was, um, I bought two on the same day. I bought Sash by Ecuador. No, Ecuador by Sash. It's like a trance strap. Went to number one, I think. And then I bought the um, Police rework um, by Faith Evans and uh, Puff Daddy for, for the Notorious B.I.G. Got sent on this kind of camp for troubled teens. <laughs> and I was young and ironically, I obviously met loads of other troubled teens who are older. And one of them, alongside giving me cigarettes when he shouldn't have been, gave me a Nirvana top that I then wore. Um, I got some stars here Got when I was about 17, I think. Um, I was still in school and I got four stars here and they're now sadly gone. I just felt like they didn't really mean that much because I, I got the tattoo just to be, I don't know, I just wanted a tat. I think it's probably a good idea that you shouldn't get tats too early because you will ine inevitably regret what you get. The first proper job I had was at, yeah, it was at G&D's. It's like an ice cream parlor in Oxford. They do ice creams and bagels. I got fired for a ridiculous um, thing. I put a cow in a bagel toaster and it exploded. And um, they found out about it and deducted the price of the cow from my paycheck. I was in a bunch of bands like when I was young. So I was in one called um, Throat Locust, which was like a metal band <laughs> where um, we were like 12, it was pretty awesome. It's named after a Tad song for any, for any Tad fans. And then I was, and then I was in the first kind of decent-ish band I was in was called Elizabeth, which was like the precursor to the Edmund Fitzgerald, which is where Jack joined. First gig I went to was, uh, I went to see an Oxford band at The Point, which is a, a venue in Oxford that's not there anymore. Um, and the band was called Mr. Duck and they were pretty rocking. Uh, first festival I went to was Truck Festival in Oxford, outside Oxford. Uh, I went there, I didn't, no, uh, I don't know if we played, we played, that I went there, we played with Ed Fitz um, and we'd met this other cool band called Youth Movies and we were out there and then I K-holed and um, yeah, and it was fucking dire. Um, I don't know, I can't remember what it was called, but I remember it had the line like, where's the serenity, where's the sincerity, was the sort of chorus line, I think. And it was like three power chords. I thought it was pretty wicked at the time. Uh, it was with Elizabeth um, at the point. No, sorry, not, yeah, it was at the point, but the point was then at the Zodiac, which is now the O2 at Oxford. And I was about 15. And we were first on, we played with a band called Gun Bunny and a band called Warhen. Um, and, and then, and we got like a nice write up in Night Shift, which was the local Oxford magazine. And that genuinely was like quite encouraging because I thought that we were sh probably a bit shit. But the fact that this guy, Ronan Munro, who runs Night Shift actually took us seriously was like, I was like, oh right, this is, this is actually not heinous. First time I heard our song on the radio was John Peel played an Edmund Fitzgerald song on Peel's show. It was called Horses and he, he liked it and then said something about the vocals being mixed too quietly. Maybe have a party. Maybe have a party and then maybe have a holiday or play some shows. <laughs>